The start of a new year is traditionally celebrated with fireworks, and while that may bring joy to us, it can be a scary time for pets. That's right, and joining us live to talk more about that is Thomas Hans Jr. from the Hawaiian Humane Society. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thomas, we're just about five Thank hours away from 2022. Now, what should pet owners be doing to prepare for tonight's fireworks? Absolutely. As you know, fireworks can scare pets and I can hear them going off right now. So <laughs> pet owners should definitely keep their pets inside and make sure they're in a secure location and absolutely comfort them at a, if at all possible. And, you know, I know that a lot of times the Hawaiian Humane Society, when there are fireworks, sees a lot of dogs, cats, strays coming in. So has that already been the case today? I mean, we've been hearing fireworks, like you say, already going off. Um, no, we actually have had an average flow. Uh, today, I don't have the numbers, but you know, last year, it was a pretty average flow of typical time of the year um, kind of coming in and we were able to handle it. And a lot of pet owners, I feel, are really responsible with this kind of issue. As you know, dogs will jump fences and get out sometimes, the occasional accident happens. But as long as your pet is microchipped, has their collar on, we're able to reunite pets with their owners if they ever get lost outside of the fireworks season. And some other tips we've heard about is, you know, play soothing music, try to give them their favorite toy. Can you talk about some of those other tips that people might do to keep their pet calm? Yeah, absolutely. So you can put the TV on at an average level volume, something you usually watch just to help soothe your pet, you know, have those familiar sounds around. And of course, if your pet is overly anxious, if tonight you notice it's super anxious around loud noises, consult with your veterinarian to make sure that your pet is getting the right treatment that it needs to get over that anxiety and never give your pet anything to make it tired or any kind of sedative without consulting your veterinarian just to be super safe and make sure that your pet is really healthy. So hopefully this doesn't happen, but say someone's pet runs away tonight and takes off. What's the first thing that they should do? Yes, they should call the Hawaiian Humane Society and file a lost pet report. You can also do that on our website at hawaiianhumane.org. And there are some parties going on. Don't let your pet start imbibing or, or eating some of the uh, food that might be laying around as well. Yeah, if you have leftover food from the holiday festivities or you know, you're know you barbecuing tonight, definitely keep your food in a secure location. You don't wanna overfeed your pets and give your pet, uh, make your pets sick from people food. And kind of the reverse, what I was asking earlier, say you find a stray pet or an animal, uh, what, should you do in, what should you do in that case? If at all possible, if you find a caller with a number, go ahead and call that number. Tell them that you found their, their beloved pet and get in contact with them and hopefully they'll come pick them up. If that uh, if you're not able to reach them or the animal doesn't have a caller, uh, bring it to the Hawaiian Humane Society or a veterinarian where they can scan for the microchip, which is required on the island of Oahu now for ca own cats and dogs. And they can scan for that microchip, which is a unique number where that number will um, identify where you live and we're able to contact you so you can come pick up your pet. And real quick before we go, you know, we have a lot of the fireworks will of course start going off at midnight. Any tips for people to plan ahead until then for their pets? Yeah, absolutely. So if you're able to right now, I know it's a bit rainy, so it may not be possible, but if you tire out your pets, play with them, take them for a walk around the yard, you know, keep them on a leash just because there are fireworks going off in some parts of the island right now and make sure to get that exercise in. Feed them before the, the onslaught of you know the big celebration and be sure that they are safe and ready to go and secure inside your home, especially if you're gonna be leaving tonight. Great okay. tips for oh. our pets. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I got and you for off. their owners as well. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thomas. Thomas Hans from the Hawaiian Humane Society.